Good morning. Look at this. Saboteur, 829. Thursday, May 28th, 2020. And we may be man down right now, but everybody that is on officially is cruising with the case handler a show about personal injury, immigration, and overall really good lawyers and even better people that are willing to help you and give you the information you need for absolutely free. We are Pollock Pollock Isaac DeSico. We are located virtually right now in our homes, but during normal and better times, we are located at 225 Broadway on the third floor in downtown Manhattan. Um, we've been practicing law as a firm uh, for over 50 years, and we all are practicing attorneys in our specific fields. I, of course, handle personal injury. Nelson, the Maverick Madrid, handles uh, immigration. He's a partner of the immigration firm. Squeeze uh, is a radio broadcaster and serial entrepreneur, as he likes to say it. Uh, we uh, also have uh, Conrad, the maestro uh, Pollock, who is, I think, logging on right now, and you know, his uh, the absence of his piano playing uh, is is really heartfelt. It's uh, it's really you know bringing me down today. The weather is not nearly as nice as it was yesterday, but I have a feeling it's going to be a great show. And you know why I know it's going to be a great show? Because we have our Thursday, our consistent Thursday guest on, the man that has more immigration experience under his belt than pretty much any other attorney in New York City. And that is Alan, the General K. If we could all just salute Alan right now, the General. Thank you so much. Uh, but without further ado, I'd like to introduce my co-host uh, on this show, the man that uh, I brought out of retirement because he was running too many damn tapes on this radio station. And people uh, didn't even know if he was in Jamaica or New York or even if he was alive. But uh, David Anarchy, David, are you there, brother? I am here, man. I am here. Where else am I going to be but here with you, man? I mean, I don't know. We can't hear you that well. So turn up your mic and let's get into this. But uh, while you're doing what you need to do, maybe we'll we'll uh, introduce the panel of attorneys. But before uh, I do that, the most important information I can give you guys right now is what? The phone number. Why? Because we won't know about you unless you call us. We won't know you exist or have any legal problem whatsoever, whether it's personal injury or immigration, unless you pick up the phone, okay, and you dial the following numbers, 844-774-3529 or 844-PPID-LAW. The number goes directly to our phones here uh, or our receptionists who actually have phones in their apartments right now. Uh, and that's how you will get your questions answered for free. You can get your free 100%, no strings attached, immigration question answered. It uh, doesn't matter what the question is, you can challenge us and I dare you to stump us. It's almost impossible. 844-774-3529. That's 844-PPID-LAW. Good morning, Conrad. Morning, uh, Mr. Handler. Uh, as nice as sorry. yesterday, huh? No, definitely not. Yeah, it looks like a um, little overcast, but you know, it's okay. We can use a little rain. Uh, get those flowers blooming, right? Sorry for my late appearance this morning. It's, uh, it's been rough uh, getting up this morning. I apologize. I'm no usually problem. Much, Listen, that's uh, why more punctual. We're we're here. Uh, we're here to pick everybody up. It is early, but you know what? Like they say, uh, the show business, the show must go on. And uh, Nelson's well, plus here. I, plus, I figured, you know, you don't need me as much. You've got uh, the general here, and he's got all the answers and all the information and all those contacts that we've been talking about. It's true. When, Nelson, when, go ahead. When, I'm sorry. When Alan's not on, we can tote you as the most experienced immigration attorney on the show. And when he's on, <clears throat> I don't know. It's, uh, it, you know, we, we can't, no false advertising. The general takes over. Good morning, Alan, to you. Good morning. How are you feeling today? Another I'm, week in the books? I'm feeling good. Thank you. All right. All right. And Nelson, I'm sure you, uh, you know, Thursday, you've already been through most of the week taking those phone calls, people getting that free consultation on their immigration questions. I, of course, been handling the personal injury questions, but 
How's your week been so far? Good, good. Um, before we got on the show, um, I was actually reviewing a, a decision um, that someone recently received based on a marriage-based petition. Um, they received what's called a notice of intent to deny. They're basically uh, letting this person know unless they have some really good explanations for why they got so many questions wrong, um, they're going to deny the case. Um, I'm seriously considering advising the client to just refile. Um, but, you know, as everyone else was, I was doing work before going online at 830 in the morning. Right? Same here, man. There's, there's no there's no more working hours. I find that, uh, you know, really, I'm, I'm working longer hours now that we've all been home uh, quarantined, I guess, uh, than in the office. In the office, you punch in, you punch out. I mean, you always bring your home, your work home with you. You're always thinking about cases. I don't know about you guys, but you know, whether it's eating breakfast or getting dressed or even walking the dog, I'm always thinking about my cases. I'm always thinking about what I need to do next. I'm always thinking about, you know, how I can make sure that I move the case as quickly as possible to the best possible result, because I know my clients, you know, have one and only chance at financial recovery. There are no redos. So unless I'm doing everything I can to make sure my clients get the most money possible, if God forbid they're in a car accident or a construction accident or a slip and fall accident, then I'm not doing my job. We always say uh, one choice, um, uh, one chance, one choice in your case handler. So I'm sure it's the same with you guys. You know, we live and breathe what we do. And for you, it's immigration. Alan, what about you? Do you, you ever just like, you know, walk around or do other things and think about the cases that you're working on? I'm like you, I'm always thinking about the cases I'm working on, whether it's on the phone or uh, email, I'm always thinking about it. Yeah. In fact, you know, just the reason I was late this morning is exactly for that reason. I got an email, an urgent email this morning from a client who uh, had a relative that was detained down at the border in Texas. And, um, you know, I was just trying to help him out and provide some uh, advice and how to go forward. And which, by the way, you know, that's a common situation that we deal with. And Nelson, you can pick me up here when, when I'm done. But, you know, we frequently, I mean, less so lately because the, the Immigration Service has been a lot less active. I guess CBP is, is aware uh, of the pandemic and how it's spreading in Mexico. So maybe they're a little more reticent than usual to pick up uh, people crossing the border because uh, they don't want to catch the, uh, the COVID. So, hey, maybe that's a, a, a good thing. But um, the I, ICE and CBP, they are still active. They are still picking people up. Uh, and trying to deport them. And as I said, uh, we frequently have clients that are detained either at the airports or crossing the borders from, from Mexico or from Canada. And, and we travel to those courts, whether it's Buffalo or whether it's El Paso or, or, or Ciudad Juarez or Tijuana, Mexico. You know, we, we travel all over these places to deal with, and constantly are dealing with these situations. So, and as I said, I had one this morning that I had to deal with, which is why I was a bit late this morning. So, you know what? I frequently say I frequently say I'm watching 30 or 40 different movies at the same time. And those are the cases I'm working on. And at any given time, obviously, when any client calls, I need to be able to explain what exactly is going on with that case. So. That's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you know, can you guys hear me? We can hear you perfectly loud and clear. OK, so. Everybody here sound like, you know, they're like they just crawled out of bed. All right. <laughs> Come on. This is cruising with the case handler. I don't want to hear, you know, Adam like, yeah, uh, we're here again. And it's um, that day and uh, we're one man down. No, no man is ever down. We're up. We're pumped. We're ready. We got the general. When you got the five star general on this radio station, 93.5. Come on. What else do we want? We got the top immigration attorney in the nation on our station on this show people are tuning in people are turning up their radios no one is going to go anywhere else so we got to bring the heat we got to bring the energy so gentlemen it's great to be here again on 93.5 with the show as adam noted called cruising with a case Adler, where we speak on personal injury where we speak ladies and gentlemen on immigration and believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, I know they just got up. I know they're getting their coffee together. I know they're getting pumped. But there's absolutely no other set of attorneys around this tri-state area or beyond that is as good as them. And I'm dubbing it. I'm saying it. I, David Squeeze Anakit, 
not the C E R E A L entrepreneur, all right, but the S E R. <laughs> I heard Adam with that earlier on, all right. But ladies and gentlemen, right now, I want for you to get ready to place your questions, ask your questions when it comes to immigration. Get ready also for one of the true success stories, aka war story of Adam Handler with personal injury. The number to call right now to get yourselves one, um, a free phone consultation with the immigration attorney. Not uh, Joe Blow down on Gunnell Road or you know uh, Joe Flo <laughs> over on Eastern Parkway. No, real live attorneys, okay? You're talking about managing partner, um, Conrad Pollock, practicing attorney. The guy's working this morning. You know, he started working. Uh, Nelson, always working, multiple cases, okay? He has been taking a lot of the calls that's been coming into the firm, okay, which is located at 225 Broadway in New York on the third floor and also in Brooklyn and Peekskill. He has been taking a lot of the calls and being very straightforward with people. So here's the number, 844 774 Three five two nine. That's eight four four seven seven four three five two nine. Yes, Conrad. Yeah, squeeze. You're throwing out all those addresses in Brooklyn, which you know I'm a Brooklyn boy myself. I spent uh -huh. the first twenty five years uh, born and bred. You're throwing out all those Brooklyn addresses. You got to throw out our Brooklyn address because we do have an office in Brooklyn. So, folks, if you're gonna, if you don't want to travel to the city, if you want to stay back home and stay in Brooklyn and visit an immigration lawyer, hey, come visit us. We're at eleven sixty seven. McDonald Avenue, actually 1167 Avenue I, right off McDonald Avenue. Office is gonna be opening very soon. We're right by the bus stops, we're right by the train station. You know, if you, if, if you don't wanna leave Brooklyn and you, you wanna see a lawyer in Brooklyn, come and see us, we're there too. Absolutely, absolutely. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the show is called Cruising with a Case Handler. Adam Handler, are you ready to give me a true success story? Absolutely. Why not? Why not? You know, make me the co-host because uh, I actually have something I, I wanted to, to share. So uh, Ralston sent me a photograph last night that, you know, kind of broke my heart. I thought it was a fun, fun picture I could share. So can, can you, uh, can, you can are you already co-host. Cue me up. Beautiful, beautiful. So uh, Ralston sent me a photograph and uh, oh boy, I thought I had it ready to go, but uh, I guess I didn't. It was a, a picture uh, of better times. And what does that mean for better times? It means uh, when I was, uh, you know, able to go to court and fight for my clients. Um, of course, it's not letting me do it right now, but uh, I'll figure a way to do that. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, let's go to a true life success story. Sorry, everybody. It's, uh, it's not as easy sometimes as you think to, to be able to do this kind of stuff. But a true life success story and a case that, you know, was very interesting. We handled this. Oh, boy. Uh, the case that we handled uh, a little while ago for uh, a gentleman. Why am I not able to do this? What's happening right now? It, it's my my case management software. Uh, let's Didn't see. Didn't take your weedies, man. Didn't take your uh, No, brother. Brother, it's saying share. It's, and I'm saying share, uh, share my screen. What is happening? Oh, boy. All right. Let's try this one more time. Share the page you're on. You know, I'm, dude, uh, you don't need to tell me <laughs> to share the page I'm on. I invented the share the page I'm on. All right. Let's see here. Let's see if the uh, shark can get it right, ladies and gentlemen. The top personal injury attorney out there with that. All right. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right. Yeah. All right. This, this is a case, um, very interesting case. And I'll, I'll tell you why. Uh, this is a case in which somebody was injured at work and, uh, you know, his boss, first of all, blamed him for the accident, which was ridiculous. Uh, he was actually working up uh, on a, uh, on a wooden scaffold and it broke and he fell. Uh, and the other reason why, uh, it was an interesting case is because he was an out of status immigrant and they of course just wanted to screw this guy over left and right. And we always say, you know, it doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, what you're doing here. If you're hurt in New York uh, and it's the other person's fault, you're entitled to money under the law. And this was this was a happy day. Um, you can see here a seventy four thousand dollar recovery uh, for this gentleman. And we'll talk about the case in a minute. But, you know, he was happy to take that photograph. Look at that smiling face. Seventy four thousand dollars tax free again. It's not always about the multi-million dollar settlements. And trust me, thank God we, we have plenty of those uh, on behalf of our clients. But it's also the, the settlements that are equally as important to this family because, you know, not only 
Uh, were we able to get his medical bills paid and his time out of work paid? But we were also able to get him um, $74,000 on top of that just to you know, ease his pain that he had uh, for a few months when he was out of work. And the wife was there too uh with those fancy sunglasses i remember that and i said why, why what's with the sunglasses and she goes do you really think i want everybody knowing that we just got seventy four thousand dollars?" so that's a very good point um and uh she thought ahead because we're certainly showing this to a lot of people right now uh, of course with their permission uh and if you wouldn't mind squeeze reading that quote for me okay the case handler did an excellent job and went above and beyond very professional and dependable team they were also very prompt with their communication. If we called over the weekend, Adam would text us back. He's rare and really cares about you. Since we live far from the office, Adam Handler and his team made the process as easy as possible for us. The Blackburn family from West Hampstead, New York, 74,000 US dollars in settlement for this accident case. And yep. that's what I'm talking about. That's the reason why we call him the shark. That's the reason why you should not use any other personal injury attorney, but the one that's been practicing for 17 years and has settled well over $120 million for the Caribbean community and others. So link him up, 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Hey, reach out to PPID, link up with the case handler, Adam Handler. This is unbelievable. Look at all these recent settlements. 1.8 million. I mean, I mean, this is this is unbelievable. 1.7 million. This is crazy. You know, 1.6. Well, almost 1.7. I get 1.5 million dollar verdict. A million seventy five. I mean, settlement. I mean, over one hundred and twenty million dollars recovered. This we is unbelievable. That. Ruthie, if you're listening, we got to update. Two it. We million dollars. Yep. Money, 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 money. When you get hurt, people always say, "Squeeze." Why you love money so much? I'm saying, listen. Let me just make it very clear. If you have money, if you get hurt and you get money, a lot of it, doesn't it make your life a little bit easier? With money, your life can get a bit easier, if not a lot easier. And that's the reason why I like the shark. That's the reason why I like the case handler. That's the reason why I say, go to PPID when it comes to personal injury. Go to them when it comes to immigration. These attorneys have proven themselves over the past few months that hands down, no one is near as good as them. We've got the, the general, Alan Kay. If there's an issue at the Department of Homeland Security, he's got the Rolodex. Yeah, the Rolodex, okay? He can pick up the phone. He can email. He can get contact. He can get in touch. That's what we want. We want people that get a tan, okay? Take action now. That's it. Get a tan. Take action now. And you got to do it with cruising with a case handler. The law firm, Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and DeSico, the number... 844-774-3529. The attorneys today, the General Alan Kay, the managing partner, Conrad Pollock. We've got the Nelson Madrid, a.k.a. the Maverick, and we've got the Shark on the personal injury side, Adam Adler, the case handler. And, and, and I, did, I did find that picture. I just want to show you this picture. I thought this picture was great. And this, this, was, this shows, you know, me in court, uh, ready to get on a case. And I remember feeling so good that day. This is in Brooklyn. And I don't know if you can see that photograph right now, but yeah. I mean, look, look how, first of all, forget about how good I look right there, but I, I don't want to tell you what I think that's, of this. That's how comfortable. I really don't want to tell you what I think of this photo, but that's, but, that's, but that's how comfortable I am in the courtroom, you know, and, and, and I guess Ralston took that shot, you know, like a sniper spy shot, but you know, that's when I'm the most comfortable. That's when I really feel you know, like I'm like alive in control. It's the one place actually in this world where I actually feel like, um, you know, I can do anything, you know, uh, and when I'm at home, my wife, you know, she, she, she's got this. I mean, she, she, she makes a beautiful home for us and, and takes care of our children uh, like none other, uh, you know, and I follow her lead because she's amazing. But when I'm in court, right nobody is going to beat me. No, I really feel that way. And I was never good at sports, you know, and Conrad probably wouldn't find that to be surprising, but you know, I was never great at sports, but I tried my hardest and I have fun on teams, but man, when I'm in the courtroom, I, I really feel like I'm unstoppable. And that's why my clients get the best possible result they can. That's what I'm talking about. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Adam Handler, your case handler, we call him the shark. Hence the reason why Conrad plays that 
piano with the theme from Jaws. You know, okay? So call him right now. The number is 844 774 3529. That's 844 774 3529. I am so proud with working with these gentlemen here each and every single day. And sometimes the ladies also come on. So, ladies and ge gentlemen, just reach out. Reach out to them. A great attorneys, fabulous attorneys, phenomenal attorneys. They've got character. You know, once upon a time, you, you meet up with attorneys and they're so square. You, you wonder if you should even do business with them. They're just square. Look at these attorneys. They're fun. They've got character. They've got personality. And they treat you like family. So personal injury or immigration or even criminal defense, real estate, and more, make it one firm. PPID. 844-774-3529. You may not need them now. Dial the number, say hello, and save the number. And say, I'm just saving the number because I know I'll need it in the future. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you reach out to them. They're definitely here to help each and every one of you. Flipping it and switching it over to immigration, I'm going to start it off with a question, gentlemen. So gear up. Here we go. Immigration it is. I want to join my husband in the U.S. to live. He's working on a H-2A visa. His employer is willing to sponsor him, and his brother is also a citizen. How difficult will the process be, and what time frame are we looking at before I would be able to join him? Well, first, go ahead. First, first off, um, he's working on H-2A. That's a seasonal worker. Um, so he's, he's involved somewhere in the United States in agricultural work, um, probably planting at the moment or harvesting in the fall. Um, in order to apply for his green card, his employer is going to have to apply for him through the Department of Labor to get him what's called labor certification. It's under the PERM process. The application is filed by the employer with the Labor Department. Once it's approved by the Labor Department, after they prove they can't find American workers to do that particular job, which shouldn't be difficult, um, then they have to file a petition with the Immigration Service. Once that's approved, then eventually they'll get an interview. Um, now, there's a few problems here. Number one, it's going to take a couple of years. Number two, the employer has to hold that job open and has to be an offer of a permanent full-time position, has to hold it open for that period of time. Mm -hmm. And the, the real issue right now is because there is a ban in place on, immigrant, on certain immigrants coming to the United States, this one is subject to the ban. Employment uh, applications uh, for permanent residence for immigrant visas, if you're out of the country and you're uh, uh, even you're coming to follow your, your husband here. If you're not in the United States, you are banned from applying or from at least from obtaining an immigrant visa currently. It's not to say that your employer, that the husband's employer shouldn't submit the application. He should. It takes a couple of years and hopefully, in a, hopefully by the end of this year, that ban is no longer around. But um, currently, if, if you had filed two years ago, you would not be able to complete that case due to the ban. But that's the process. Uh, again, I'm 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 encapsulating how, how right what is normally a complicated process. Call us and we can give you the specifics. And that number happens to be eight four four seven seven four three five two nine. That's eight four four seven seven four three five two nine. Yes, we have continued with immigration talk. Yes, we have continued continue with personal injury talk since 1996. We have been doing this, and this is great. Now I've hooked up, of course, or aligned myself. I'd like to say with some of the greatest attorneys on the planet, in my opinion, because they've not only been helping my people, the Caribbean people, but they've been helping all people, regardless of your race, creed, color, religion, ethnicity, sexual orientation, they don't care. They just believe in helping people. So why not call them for personal injury or immigration? 844-774-3529. That's 844-PPID-LAW. Get that phone consultation absolutely free. You don't have to pay for the consultation, but hire them afterwards. Here's another one. Maybe Nelson or the general can jump in on this one. After the travel ban is lifted, my fiance will be coming with his K-1 visa. Does the 90-day ESTA still apply? When we get married within 90 days and file for adjustment of status, does the 90-day ESTA still apply? No, you're, 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 you're basically supposed to get married within the 90 days. When someone enters on a K, you're supposed to get married within those 90 days. Um, Obviously, when you file adjustment thereafter, I, I don't think necessarily matters, but the purpose of coming in on a K is to marry um, the petitioner within those 90 days. And subsequent to that, obviously, you could file for adjustment. All right. No problem. Once also, just, just to clarify, 
he's confusing two different categories. Esther has nothing to do with K1. Either he's coming with a K1 and then has to get married, as Nelson said, within 90 days, or he can't get a K1 and he's eligible. He's from a European country or Argentina or Australia, one of those. He can apply or he can just come on Esther and get 90 days. You don't do both. K1 has nothing to do with Esther. Gotcha. Thanks for, see, you know, I, I have a funny feeling that when Conrad was back in, in college or back in even earlier high school and all of that, he was the dude that put his hand up first in the classroom, you know, <laughs> he, and he was never at the back of the classroom. He was up front. Anyway, once again, folks, that's the voice of, um, uh, respectively, you heard Nelson Madrid, a 13 year veteran when it comes to immigration. And we call him the Maverick because He's so keen on helping people who have been arrested and is seeking immigration benefits. And you also heard the voice of the maestro, um, ladies and gentlemen, the managing partner and practicing attorney at the firm, as we always say. Reach out to them, 844-774-3529. General, you're not getting off that easy. Here's one for you. Um, it says here, I applied, by the way, the general is Alan Kay, okay, the most knowledgeable attorney out there when it comes to immigration and I honestly have seen that by way of his expression and what he has said over the past few weeks. I applied for my husband's immigration visa from abroad. They received my apl application and are asking for additional evidence. They want photocopies of my original marriage certificate, and they also want a photocopy of the translated version. I already sent them the translated version, which they said they received. I will be expressing mailing them photocopies of the original certificate this week. I do not have any photocopies of the translated version. I'm getting confused. I sent them the only one I had. I cannot go to the foreign affairs office for a new one because of mandatory lockdown. I live outside that region, so I'll be denied entry. The deadline is June 22nd. I'm not sure when the mandatory quarantine will be lifted. And even if it's lifted in one week, the translations take two weeks to be ready for pickup. Will my husband be denied his visa because of this? I think they should, should have also put a country they're coming from. Yeah. It may be possible to get some more time. Uh, I'd like to see the papers to give a better advice. Um, and on the, in terms of the translation, they normally want something in the foreign language plus official certified translation. So <clears throat> that can be taken care of. And there may be an extension now because of the virus. So you may have more time than the time they gave you. So if we can take a look at the papers, we may be able to give you some better advice, but I think you, you should be able to get more time so that you can respond properly. Now, if, I could just if I could just jump in, here's a perfect example, and uh, Nelson's laughing. Here's a perfect uh, example yes. of why somebody like this should be using a lawyer, all right? When I when my ID. office, when our firm files an application and I don't care what kind of application it is from the smallest to the most complicated guess what the first thing we do or I should say the last thing we do before that application gets submitted Nelson what is it an attorney we reviews a, well before after the attorney review we make a photocopy oh that's right everything that goes out gets copied so if immigration loses whatever was sent which is apparently what happened here guess what they send something like this, which, by the way, this is a common request, right? Because immigration loses stuff all the time. I remember way back when, and Alan, you'll, you'll back me up here. In the old days, you had to submit originals. They didn't allow copies a long time ago. There was no such thing as submitting photocopies. You had to submit originals. And I cannot tell you how many times immigration lost original birth certificates, marriage certificates, whatever, passports, you name it, green cards. Yeah. But as a result, and again, I've been doing this for over 36 years. Alan's been doing this for over, over 70 years, right? <laughs> we, uh, make photo, we make photocopies of everything that goes out. Like right? a real law firm. <laughs> they don't, that's right. So we don't have a problem like this. This person uses a lawyer. They wouldn't be wasting their time right now waiting and trying to get more time for consulate. That person would probably be scheduled already and be first in line to get a visa interview if they used us. We're going to the top of the hour, gentlemen, um, and we're ending on 93.5 FM. Once again, folks, the number to call for the law firm that you're listening to right now speaking um, by way of Conrad and the General and Nelson and Adam Handler. It's called Pollock, Pollock, mm -hmm. Isaac, and Pacheco. We just say PPID for short. I want every one of you 
One, for immigration, you will get a free phone consultation. I'm about to give out the number. Two, if you get hurt in an accident, you need that same number to speak with um, Adam Andler, the case handler, AKA the shark. Now, everyone, dial the number now, let it ring for 15 seconds so we know you're storing it or book a consultation off air. The number is 844-774-3529. That's 844-PPID-LAW, 844-774-3529, 844-PPID-LAW. It's nine o'clock. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, we're here cruising with a case handler. Got a couple of minutes that I got to hop off because I got a hot date with mom, but um, Adam Adler, are hey, you still scratching your head over there, man? You good? <laughs> Yeah, I'm good, man. Listen, I, I, Conrad, when when you first was do, started doing this, were, were they called photocopies or photostats? Because my dad photostatic co yeah, photostatic photo copy. Yeah, right. <laughs> my dad always um, you know. Wait, I'm what are you, you asking me for? Uh, I, 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 I used to use Xerox. Me. People call it by the company's name, Xerox. Xerox, Xerox, Xerox right. is for me. <laughs> yeah. Qu question: Did you also have Talixes back then? I mean, did. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, you're asking that. me. Talk to Alan. Al, this is all Alan, Alan's territory. Alan, Alan still <laughs> says Xerox. Can yeah. Xerox this <laughs> or, or what about, uh, I remember my dad, he, he probably got his first fax machine in the late 80s. That thing was so awesome. It had that roll of paper and it would just yeah. come out slowly. <laughs> but it, it's really changed the way that we all practice. I mean, you think about it. Think about what we are achieving right now as a law firm and how we are able to conduct our business in a capacity that we're conducting. I mean, like I said, I've settled like, uh, uh, well, it's 12 million for the year, but since the pandemic hit, probably like uh, about six, that, $6 million just from my home because we have access to computers, right? We have access to uh, 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 our cell phones, of course, and, and virtual virtual the internet conferences. What we're able to do as attorneys these days because of technology is truly remarkable. I remember going on vacations with my dad, you know, every summer, uh, you know, multiple vacations. And I remember we would have to pull over at a rest stop and he would get on, on the payphone and call his secretary, who happened to be my grandmother at the time. His mother was his secretary for many, many years. And uh, she, uh, she would give him the messages uh, over the payphone. And then we'd get back in the car and continue. But it's really amazing. And that's why I always say, you know, a lot of, and I'm sure uh, Nelson and Conrad and Alan will, will, will attest to this. When we speak to clients that have attorneys, right? A lot of times clients will call us saying, I have an attorney. Um, this is my situation. I don't know about you guys, but the most common complaint they have is, I have this attorney, but I have no idea what's going on with my case. I never hear from them. I don't know yep. what they're doing or where they are. The only people I speak to are, are, are receptionists. I've never even met my lawyer. These are personal injury clients. I've never even met my lawyer. And I say, shame on them. Because there is no reason whatsoever that every single attorney out there, you can't see because I've that every single attorney out there can't pick up the phone and return a call. And I don't, we're not even returning calls. We're proactive. We're calling our clients just to check in. So everybody out there, if you want an attorney that's going to treat you with, like family and with respect and call you back, right, then there's one firm for you, and that's PPID, 844-774-3529, 844-774-3529. Uh, well, following up on what you were saying, you know, um, in terms of technology, we are fully active, Adam. I mean, you know. I mean, we are filing applications, we're taking phone calls, we're starting new cases, we're submitting applications to the Immigration Service. We are functioning. Right? We have not stopped working, even though we've been out of the office now for two and a half months. We're still working. We have a full staff, uh, and everybody is, like I said, taking phone calls, talking to clients, signing up new work, filing new applications, paying those filing fees to the Immigration Service, which, by the way, filing fees are going up, folks. All right. If you have a case, if you have an application that you've been sitting on for whatever reason, I suggest you file it. All right. For, for instance, citizenship right now, the filing fee is seven hundred twenty five dollars. That fee is about to double. Filing fees are going up. Plus, because immigration is running out of money, there is going to be a 10 percent surcharge on top of those filing fee increases. File your cases. Come file them with us. We're filing. We're active. We're out there. We are we are running things just like we always do. 
Nothing has changed other than our location. We are still filing cases. Call us. Get a hold of us. Let help. Let us help you file those applications before those fees go up. Adam, I got I got a better one for you. Yeah. I've actually I've actually heard from clients um, that when they contact their lawyer's office, they're basically told, "Oh, you don't have to see the lawyer. You could see a paralegal." Yeah. And hold on. And the client says, "No, I want to see the lawyer." And they said, "Well, if you want to see the lawyer, you got to pay an additional five hundred dollars." <laughs> whoa, whoa. Okay. Whoa. And, and, and I've heard this about you know I've heard this about whoa. the same firm from multiple clients, and you know obviously where there's smoke there was fire. So you know it's things you got to be careful of. Something I frequently tell clients, you know what a lot of attorneys do is they do a bait and switch. They quote you a low price and they hit you over the head for every additional service until they get to that price where they want to be. Um, we typically tell you everything up front. You know, when I quote you a fee, that's the fee. Um, and, and that's what separates us from many other law firms in New York City. One yeah, of that's, I've, I've heard that so many times with, with law firms. The fees just keep going up, not just the hourly rate, but... There are additional stuff. Okay, I fax one page. Okay, that's X cents. Fax five pages, another X cents. You know, so you are absolutely right, Nelson. And that's the reason why we love PPID. As I said earlier, they're like family. They've got character. Um, call them, 844-774-3529. We've got our guest, Alan Kane. I want to hear what he has to say today before we conclude our great show here, which is called Cruising with a Case Handler, weekdays at 8.30 a.m., and of course, Saturdays at 7 p.m., Sundays at 12 noon. So let's switch to him and hear what the general himself has to say, being the top immigration man in the nation, in my opinion, okay? The general, Alan Kay, how are you again today, man? Good, thank you. And I have a few items that people may be interested in. And as we mentioned, as Conrad mentioned, our clients are all over the country. And so this is an interesting one because we know and we've heard that immigration is expecting to be open on or after June 4th. It doesn't mean on June 4th. It could be after June 4th, but this is an interesting item which comes from Colorado and it talks about immigration opening up. And so this was a naturalization ceremony which was held in a parking lot. Only 10 people were allowed to take the swearing in oath. They all were masked. They all, the 10 cars came to the parking lot. The people who are gonna be sworn in as citizens stood by their cars. No one else was allowed out of their cars and they all became citizens in the parking lot in Denver, Colorado. Now, hopefully it won't be that bad in New York, but we've just heard again that immigration will start to provide public services on or after June 4th. So that doesn't mean on June 4th. And <clears throat> some of you have asylum cases you will start to hear from immigration. Some of you had naturalization ceremonies that were postponed. Some of you had interviews scheduled for citizenship. All this stuff is gonna to start to come on now. And if you don't hear anything, uh, you can, we can try to find out for you why you didn't hear anything and why, when you're gonna be called for your naturalization ceremony, when you're gonna be called for your asylum interview when you're gonna be called for your naturalization and we can do all that for you. Now, one other thing I wanted to talk about because Conrad and Nelson are always talking about, uh, don't do this yourself because you're gonna wind up in trouble. This is a case that I'm working on now where the client filed a petition by her mother for her in about 2007. And there was some interchange between the consuls back and forth and she didn't hear anything for quite some time. So she retained us, we got in touch with the consulate and we were informed that they were in touch with her, they didn't hear anything, so they purged the file. The file was destroyed. So she lost maybe 10 years of time and now we're gonna have to file a new petition for her because she did this herself. She didn't respond to the consulate in time and the consul, we just found out when we wrote to the consulate that the, we told the consul said, we were in touch with you, you didn't get back to us. So we purged the file, closed the file, cleaned it out August, 2019. 
So now we have to do this all over again. So one good example about don't do this yourself. You're going to get in trouble. And this poor lady has lost a lot of years now because she died to do it herself and didn't respond in time. So they kill, kill the case. So those are three kind of interesting uh, stories. Well, hopefully this won't happen to you. And again, if you have us doing the case, that won't happen to you. And again, on the, in terms of immigration reopening, uh, we are, you should be hearing something. But if you haven't heard anything and you don't have a lawyer, we will find out from, from immigration when your naturalization swearing in is going to be, when your naturalization interview is going to be, when you're going to be going in for fingerprinting. All these things that have been on hold should start to move now. We'll, we can find those things out for you. So, Alan, following following up on what you were just saying, I just want to clarify something. Um, yeah. You know, when you're when you're when your case is at the consulate, the state that's part that's the U.S. State Department. There are regulations that that govern how those applications are treated and how long they have to work on them. Basically, the gov the, the State Department gives you two years. They give you a year and then they give you notice. Okay, it's been a year. We haven't heard from you. If we don't hear from you another year, your case is going to be destroyed. So basically, you've got two years. If that once that case gets to the consulate to follow through and get it done and if you don't get it done within those two years for whatever reason they destroy the file like alan said purge the file done and you have to start all over again it's as if you, it's as if you never filed before so one of the things that alan and alan i'm familiar with the case you're just talking about we we're just dealing with that this week um one one of the the things we we're able to do to help in this case was we were able to get a hold of that consulate immediately because alan as we've been saying, Alan knows all of the consulates. He can make a phone call, he can send an email, and he will often get a response that day. This woman was trying to get a hold of that consulate for the last couple of years and wasn't able to, and as a result, her case got basically got terminated and destroyed, and now she's got to start all over again. Alan, within a couple of days, was able to find out what was going on, tell the client what, what was going on, what had happened, and here we are, and at least, yes, she's lost 10 years, unfortunately, but at least now she can get the ball rolling. We have it under control. This will not happen again. Once again, another good example of why you should be using a lawyer and not trying to do this yourself. Okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Cruising with the Case Handler, a show on immigration and personal injury. Okay. You have heard from the immigration attorneys, the managing partner, Conrad Pollock, AKA the Maestro. You have heard from Nelson Madrid a.k.a. the Maverick, okay, because he zones in on you and he gets it done, all right? And you've also heard from the general, the man with depth, knowledge, experience, and wherewithal to help you in the capacity of immigration, all right? So make sure you reach out to them. That's the immigration team, 844-774-3529. That's 844-PPIDLAW. Dial the number, save the number. Make sure you get that free phone consultation when you call with an attorney, not a consultant or a paralegal. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, after that, hire them, retain them. Then, of course, we also have my co-host, Mr. Adam Handler, a.k.a. the case handler, a.k.a. the shark, a.k.a. the man that goes for the juggler. Ladies and gentlemen, it's great to have him. $120 million later in settlements and verdicts for his clients. We want to say, Adam Handler, we respect you, man. Oh, All right, man. truly, for what you've been doing for the community. So I want to say thanks again for being here. As we all know, this is an attorney advertisement, and prior results will not guarantee similar outcome. However, I say go to Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and DeSico, ladies and gentlemen, and make sure you reach out to them. Once again, the number is 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Once again, call the law firm. They're there to help you. These are great attorneys that I work with each and every single day that's been helping out a community. I want to say thanks to each and every one for tuning in. Once again, David Squeeze Anarchy here for, of course, cruising with a case handler and a, a slew of attorneys each and every single day taking care of you in multiple capacities. That being, of course, criminal defense, real estate law, immigration, personal injury, business law, and more. Once again, the number 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Do appreciate this, and we'll catch up with you again soon. Great show. Thanks so much, man. Appreciate it.